When you think of invasive species, you probably don't think of the tall, beautiful trees that line expensive homes, hotels, and even golf courses. This is the African tulip. As you can see, it's a really impressive looking tree. It, it can get anywhere between 30, 40, 50 feet tall. The leaves are very shiny and the flowers are very showy, so it's, you, can, uh, you can see why people would like to use this, uh, this tree in their landscape. Because they're foreign to the island and have no natural predators, Department of Agriculture Forestry Division Chief Joe Moffna says invasive plants like the African tulip are ruining the balance of nature. And they're a growing threat to native birds, native animals, and most especially native trees. People bring it in because they want to use it for, for landscaping purposes. And after, after it's no longer needed or after a storm, they, they dispose of it and then it spreads that way. When they grow, it, it shades out the understory of, of the trees, so it suppresses the growth of any, any uh, native trees that may, that, that may grow in that landscape. But eradicating invasive plants isn't an option. After all, most are widely accepted on the island, like the Tangentangan tree. The reality is, is that we have a lot of uh, non-indigenous uh, plants that are here that have been naturalized, and you know, it's accepted. For example, like the Tangentang de Lucina, they, uh, it, it was brought here a long time ago, you know, and, but it's almost like uh, it's something that culturally it's acceptable because we use it for, what do we use it for? It's for barbecues, right? While Guam's relationship with invasive plants is complicated, Mofnis recommends homeowners and landscapers get to know their greenery, from management to disposal. He even suggests planting native plants like the ephid or plumeria over non-native ones. Like the nurserymen or even like developers and what I would say to developers, uh, you know, uh, the hotels, the golf courses, any, anything like that. My advice is really instead of planting non-native exotics, why don't you plant native trees, right? Because they're acclimated to, this, the, to, the, to the islands. It, it helps uh, in your water bill because, like I said, it's acclimated to the, the environment here. When you plant it down during the rainy season, uh, essentially uh, it'll, take, uh, you know, it'll take care of itself. So you don't have to really maintain it. For more information on invasive plants, call the Forestry Division at 300 79 75 through 7. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.